Welcome to Rewards TV, where we featured millions of dollars in rewards for wanted fugitives, missing persons, and unsolved crimes. Help us solve these cases, and you may be eligible to receive a reward. Thank you for watching. Crime pays, now exceeding over $18 million in rewards. At 4.44 p.m. on May 16th in 2006, 26-year-old Alexandra Duche was found in a stairwell in her home on Booth Bay Street in the town of Milford, Connecticut. She had been bludgeoned and died as a result of cranial and cerebral hemorrhaging. Alexandra, a bank analyst, dancer and television actress, had last been seen by friends at Bally's Total Fitness Studio in Stratford at 11 a.m. that day. While no suspect has been named, family members believe that someone she knew had been sending her threatening messages. A reward of $50,000 is offered for information of the person responsible for the murder of Alexandra Duche. If you have any information, please call 866-690-6847. That's 866-690-6847. On May 19th, 2006, this was the site of a brutal, horrific crime. A young girl by the name of Alexandra Duche was murdered inside her house. She was the victim of blunt force and sharp force trauma. The Milford police are not going to stop investigating this case until the person who killed Alexandra is brought to justice, convicted, and sent to jail where he belongs. But the most important thing about Alexandra you don't want the murder to be the thing that defines her life. She was a graduate of Jonathan Law High School. She went on and continued her education at Albertus Magnus College, and she obtained a bachelor's degree in management information services. She was employed full-time at People's Bank. Alexandra was an aspiring dancer and an, ex and an aspiring actress, and she even landed a small part in a Law & Order episode in New York. She was on her way, and she had a bright future. But the, the best thing and the most important thing about Alexandra's life, what everybody has to know, is that she made it a point to give to others. She had an organization called Zandra's Kids, and that organization provided toys and food to needy families at holiday season in the Bridgeport area. Anytime there's a homicide in a mur or a murder, uh, the family members that remain are the, are the remaining victims of this terrible crime. I spoke to Alexandra's brother, earlier this week and I could see the pain and the anger that he feels that his sister was brutally murdered. 